Hi, my name is Mark Dean. I'm a Jungian analyst practicing in the greater Philadelphia area. And today, what I'd like to talk about with you is the nature of our rational selves. Uh, I'd like to begin by laying out some territory about uh, kind of the nature of how we tend as a society to regard irrationality, and certainly to some degree how uh, psychology in our time has tended to regard uh, what is not rational by nature. And the core of uh, uh, that focus is really that the tendency has been to regard what is not rational as superfluous and something to be got rid of. And the tendency in psychology is to equate rationality with psychological health. And what I have to say today really flies in the face of that to some degree, or certainly conflicts with it and objects to it uh, uh, in a pretty profound way. Um, my contention, and what I hope to demonstrate for you today and, and, and make clear, is that the human psyche, while oftentimes expressing itself in an irrational way, is by no means uh, very illogical in its utterances. And so a great deal of what we uh, oftentimes come to look at with uh, curiosity, uh, questioning, uh, consternation arising in our lives that appears irrational by nature is uh, in fact, in many ways, an expression of the psyche that we are fairly ill-equipped uh, to uh, uh, meet, to understand and to engage. And from a psychological perspective, I believe that it's uh, vitally important that we learn to do just that.